We're going at it again, guys. We're trying this again. Good morning, and how are ya? Welcome to another Subi Shays video with me. And today, guys, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. If you, I've just been trying to get this intro done. I'm just too pumped. We're gonna be using the brand new PAA Fake Light Razor, guys. And this is modeled after the vintage uh, 1930s to like the 1960s. Okay, the, the Bake Light Razors of old by Fasson. And Fasson made a uh, slant, guys, that's very hard to get your hands on and usually fairly expensive. And this model is uh, kind of redone and reinvented by PAA, kind of modeled after it. And I'm super pumped because I have used it two times before this. I did a shave on uh, Facebook and I did a head shave the first night I got it. So I've done two other head shaves. And let me tell you guys, this has been an absolute monster, and I'm excited to share it today with you guys on camera. And I thought, what the heck, we'll load, we'll show you the differences between the Monster Series and the Fasson, um, really get you guys an idea of why you would want to buy both, or maybe why you'd prefer buying this one versus this other one, or vice versa, okay? And I'm going to also be sharing kind of my thoughts and feedback as on blade angle, because I feel like this shaves at a different, maybe a slightly different angle than the Monster Series. Okay, I'm excited. I think you guys are really gonna get a lot from this, and I really enjoy this razor, guys. Let me just tell you, this has been an absolute awesome razor um, that I've added to the arsenal, um, and the wife wasn't happy when she saw it come in, but I, I think if I use it more than once at least, I she doesn't seem to be too angry about it. And it, it's a good price, okay. Moving past this, we'll, we'll get into it, I promise. Just sidestep, lateral step, Huge shout out to my buddy, Tony, who used an injector razor with a DE blade and didn't trim it, guys. Didn't trim it. He gets the Tony Award for awesomeness, for not giving any cares and going crazy. He didn't trim the top of it. If you guys are doing it, trim trim the blade so it looks like an injector, right? Follow that and cut that blade so it fits. He just snapped it and stacked it, dude. Snapped it and stacked it and then shaved with it. Man, I don't know. I can't imagine how that would feel. He deserves something, man. A cuddle, a hug, a smile. I don't know. He's shaved like a maniac. Awesome. Awesome. And guys, thank you all for your comments and for the feedback and the positivity lately. Um, we're climbing. We're at 260? 260? It happened. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting awesome. And, you know, give me those thumbs, guys. Keep giving me thumbs and keep giving me comments. And if you're new, if you just click in here because you want to see how the new Fasson Fake Light PAA Razor is doing, give me a thumb, give me a comment, and please give me a sub. Thank you so much. That's all I'll say about it. That's all I'm going to say about it. Today, guys, another special treat. My buddy Jeremy, he's uh, really, he's been a friend of mine before the channel started. The channel was partially his idea. He's like, dude, Subi Shapes, you got to do your own thing, man. Um, I was always complaining about having to post all these different places and, and Jeremy was like, dude, just create your own YouTube for all your blade hacks. Just do it. Just do a YouTube. So Jeremy's amazing. And he produced him own soap guys. He made his own soap mountain hair shaving. This is his label, his soap. And he sent me a sample of it. Right. And he's like playing around with the idea of doing it. I used it on camera yesterday and my wife's used a little, and then I used, I used it three days in a row, actually. I really like this. It's like a bergamot and lemon, guys. It's it's pretty, uh, it's just, it's a very nice, clean scent. Um, I would say it's very docile. It kind of reminds me, he modeled it kind of after CK1. It's very um, neutral. I don't feel like it's heavy in one thing or another. And it's very balanced. And I think Jeremy did an awesome job putting together his own soap. It is softer, but not like so soft your finger goes into it like a cream. It's definitely like a croat. It's not a hard soap whatsoever. And this is a combo soap, guys. This has glycerin pieces in it. So it amps up the soap as you're lathering with it. And it's a tallow-based soap that Jeremy has crafted himself. Just cool. Just a guy that, you know, he wanted to take on something and try something out. And he did. And I think that's what's cool about our craft is when you do something yourself and you make it. Oh, the moment you realize you forgot to mention the name. Jeremy's soap, guys, it's the Crackalaka. The soap name is Crackalaka. This is just an edit, quick moment to say I'm an idiot. I had too much excitement, and it's the Crackalaka. Thanks, guys. 
for you. I think that's right. It may not turn out the best, but I think it's cool. We're going to be using, speaking of uh, using something and making it your own, we're going to be using one of Colin Clathens. He's a friend of mine. Uh, brushes. This is his Ever Ready Restored Blue on Blue with a badger that he has gelled. And look at how beautiful that lather is today. I'm going to run it a little bit, um, a little less uh, hydrated today. We're going to try a little bit thicker lather today, guys, with Jeremy's soap and kind of get more of a pastier experience. I'm just, I want to see how it flows. I'm kind of testing this out. So I just, I want to see how it flows if I'm, if I'm not going to hydrate it quite as much. But you guys can see I'm still definitely got that hydration going on. You can see some little pieces of, uh, of glycerin, which is really cool. Um, where I haven't fully knocked it down, where I haven't fully lathered it, but you guys can see it's definitely maybe a little bit too, uh, dry. But we're going to try, I want to see, I want to experience that a little drier. So we're going to try it. Um, and that's the cool thing about this Vassan razor. I really think it's going to plow through whatever I throw at it. Um, we're also going to be using guys, 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 B&M Oceana is the after splash. Again, it's an aquatic, it smells like aquadigio with a little bit more aquaticness. And I'm using this because I'm going to the beach. Today I'm going to the beach, guys. I'm going to the beach. It's happening. I have decided I'm going to the beach. I need to get my head shave on before I go to the beach. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to use the the two razors. Just maybe, Let's use the one razor. I'm going to use this uh, Fasson razor. I was debating doing a side-by-side -side compare. I head shaved yes. What do you guys think? I, I'm, I'm going back and forth on it. I'm just like, I, I want a perfect shave. And the facade will give it to me, and I have to work really hard on the Monster Series to get it. So, you know, let's let's do let's do the split. Let's do the split. Let's do it down the middle. I'm gonna do my head down the middle, you guys, and you guys can see the Monster Series versus the Fake Light Series. That's it. We're doing it. It's gonna be a comparison video. I don't care. It's going down. Um, and we're gonna be using the caffeinated uh, uh, cream, the caffeinated shave cream from Pacific Co. Wow, um, as a pre-shave. Okay. Because I like getting some extra slickness. You guys don't have to do pre-shave. Don't worry about it if you don't want to do it. Don't do it if you don't have to. Don't don't even think about it. But I'm going to do it because I like it. Um, and I just wanted to mention again, because I missed it, that Colin is a friend of my channel. His link is below. I'm going to be always be including my affiliate links. What, what other one? Which is Leaf and Colin's. Um, along with a few of my friends that have donated or helped the channel get off the ground. Below. In the in the channel description. So if you want to if you want to, if you want to see more of what those people are doing that are helping my channel out, their, their links are below. Okay, let's do a head shave. Let's talk about the head shave. I'm gonna get my head just slightly wet, and I won't do my face today, guys. I'll just do my head. Um, I know a lot of guys personally. I know five or six dudes. That's a lot to me apparently. Um, that shave their head with one of these fake light series, one of these ABS razors. They use them on their heads because they're light, they're very maneuverable, and I feel like they're fairly mild. They're, the Open Comb Monster Series, guys, was really the option for that for a long time. And this razor is one of those razors that is very forgiving. Surprisingly, looking at it, look at the different curvature on the blade. You guys see how it's torqued down? The way that this is torqued makes that blade extremely smooth while still providing a lot of efficiency and not having a ton of blade fill. It's kind of a it's kind of a odd experience. What I find though is when your skin hits this cap, I'm gonna try to show this guys. When your skin hits the cap right here, okay? When your cheek hits this cap, what ends up happening to me is I feel like I mostly shave on this side, right? I almost feel like I when I pull the razor it ends up gliding like kind of like at an angle. So it doesn't feel like you're, you're really engaging both sides like that, you know, engaging the full, the full blade. In my opinion, I feel like you, you kind of have to angle the blade in and out or it like in and down, like kind of like this to really shave across the surface nice and smooth. It takes a little bit of experience. It takes a little bit of practice to make sure you're engaging the blade. Now, let me show you the facade side by side. And I thought at first looking at these that they were the same. I'm like, oh, Doug got me. They're the same razor. But really look at just the blade. You guys see the blade and how um, different the blade exposure is? Look how torqued down the one on the right is versus this left. Look at that angle. Look at the head cap, the way it angles. Let me spin this around so you guys can see the other side. I loaded both sides so you guys could see. This is the other side. Look how different. Just very different razors in the head profile. Head profile, and I feel like the Fasan has 
a little bit more, um, probably more exposure. The Fasan has more blade fill and the Fasan is, for me, it's more efficient than this razor. I also feel like the quarter turn adjustability that PAA uh, talks about, right? You, you can adjust it based on how far it's torqued down. I feel like this razor on the right, the Fasan razor, is extremely efficient when you unscrew it versus this one where it comes kind of, it's like moderately aggressive. Like it gets a little bit more, but not a ton. In my opinion, that's been my experience. I have used them both. The Fasan razor also seems to last longer. The shave lasts longer for me. I don't know why. Um, I legitimately can go 29 hours and still have a fairly smooth surface with a Fasan. Whereas the Monster Series for me is like, like 14 hours and I can start feeling growth. That's the one thing. I apologize for that, for throwing my things, guys. Um, th this is a little bit complicated to take apart just because of the way that the pieces are torqued. So unscrewing them, it takes a little bit of uh, effort. Whereas I feel like the Fake Light series is really easy to take apart. Much easier than the Monster series. That Monster series is extremely torqued. And it really puts a cool pressure on the blade and it does some cool things with the blade, but it definitely is a little bit harder for me to take apart. Um, just just all things in consideration. What I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be doing this the Subi Shaves way. I'm going to cut my blade tabs, because I hate blade tabs. I hate cutting my ear on blade tabs. Um, I'm gonna cut them like 50% off. And I highly recommend anybody that's using one of these, give this a try, where you remove 50% of the blade. And I prefer it this way, personally. Um, that way I'm not catching my ear ever. It's just, it's a better experience for me, personally. Especially on, on head shapes. So we're just gonna cut both blades. I'm gonna do both blades, guys, today. Um, and I'm using, you guys can believe this, I'm using Med Preps from Persona. These are made in America razors. Okay. And I really like them. They say made in the USA. They're very sharp, they're fairly expensive, and I only do this with my razors that are more mild, because these blades are really efficient. Um, that's just kind of my experience with the Persona Lab Blues. They're also referred to as the Lab Blues, guys. Sorry, I'm just getting everything set up so that you guys um, can really see how these two shave. I debated doing this today. I was like, I don't know if anybody even cares about a comparison video, but PAA does offer two plastic razors, and I wanted the opportunity to talk about both on camera and show you guys how they shave comparatively, in my opinion. And if you want both, if you if you need both, and if the Monster Series is cool, the Monster Series is this, they do some really awesome, like glow in the dark options, and they, they have some really cool different packages. The green one, the Kratura, is really cool. Um, but they all shave the same, right? If it's in the Monster Series, guys, it's that double open comb series. They are the same razor. All you're doing is getting a different finish. And I have double checked with uh, Doug on that. That is correct. They're, they're the same razor, just in different finishes. Which is cool. I mean, like, if you love that, if you love this Monster Series razor, right? You love this double um, open comb slant razor. Like, he has, and you want different colors for every day, you know? Green and, and uh, blue, red, um, glow in the dark even. He does all those things. And I'm gonna put both sides together, guys. I stack my blades after I cut them in half and I'm stacking them and put them in, in the uh, PAA open comb, double open comb, slant, monster series. Again, this is two blades inside of there. I think it performs better for me with two blades inside of it. And the reason why I'm doing it only one side again is so that I could do this, okay? Well, especially when I'm going right here, I can I can smack my finger with that backside and not cut it, especially going around my ears. Going around my ears, I, it's a trick that I learned from my buddy Luca, and it's, it's really changed my life. It makes my DE shaving so much more enjoyable. Okay, I'm gonna load the other one now. Um, again, the other one loads easier for me. It, the head cap doesn't seem to fight me as much. It just, the, the angle of it's less extreme. And maybe that's what I say. The, the angle of the head cap on the Fasan razor is much less extreme. It has a much more neutral 
kind of uh, angle to it and exposure to it. It definitely looks more neutral and it shaves a little bit more neutral. I'm just, I'm just uh, adjusting the, I'm just putting, I'm making sure there's torque on the blade. Guys, that's all I'm doing. And I want to show you guys, you can see, I think this is cool. Because this is clear, you can actually see the DE blade in there. Isn't that cool? Look how you can see half of it. You can't see this half, right? Because it doesn't exist. There's nothing there. But you can see how perfectly that's loaded. Nice and flush. Lots of pressure. And it's two DE blades in one side. All right, let's do a shave. So you guys have an idea what's going on. I just wanted you guys to see the differences in just even the blade exposure and the way that the blade sits. The Monster Series for me, guys, it, that torqued down experience where it's like really cranked down, it makes it harder to disassemble. It makes it really hard to, um, I think, engage the blade fully, personally. I just, I don't feel like I engage the blade every single time with every stroke fully. And that's, you know, experience thing. As I've used it more and more, the, the Creature Series, Mind of the Ghost, has gotten better. But like... I, I didn't have that same learning curve with the facon. The facon felt much more natural on the skin surface. And I mentioned this on Facebook. I was talking to a couple other guys that own them um, that, when I was doing my Facebook live shave yesterday. And they kind of, I think the common agreement was some people thought it was less efficient, some thought it was more efficient, but everybody agreed that it feels nice on the skin. And most of the guys I talked to, I think almost every single one of them said they preferred the facon razor to the open comb monster series. Interestingly, and a lot of these guys, you know, are big into that razor. They really like that open comb. So I think that just speaks volumes to how good this facon razor is. Now, I don't own a Bakelite facon razor, guys, from the uh, vintage era. I do not. Um, I was looking at buying one. I was going through eBay, and I found one for $400. And I was just flabbergasted. I sat there. I was like, 400 bucks? You know how many chicken nuggies you can get for 400 bones? You know what you can do with $400? Get, oh man, I, I can't even imagine the, the grief that would happen in my life, in my marital life, if I spent $400 on a Bakelite razor, man. I think my wife would, that would be it. There would be, there would be milk cans, that's for sure. Milk cans and wanted posters, or not wanted, uh, missing persons posters put up, that's for sure. Um, again, the soap is fantastic. This is from Jeremy, and it's his, um, his shave soap. And I've, again, done this a little bit more uh, dry than usual for me. But I want to try it dry. See how the facon does the dry razor. Okay. Or dry soap. This is going to be the facon side on the right side, guys. Right right side. Yeah, it's the right side. And the first thing that I notice, again, when I put my hand to my head, is a, you do need a little bit more pressure than you would be using with another, you know, a DE that's heavier. But that is mentioned by Doug several times um, in all of his uh, material. He's like, you have to use some more pressure. And I really like the um, across the grain stroke like this. I feel like the across the grain feels really nice and very efficient. I can feel, honestly guys, that most of the stubble at this point is absolutely knocked down. And that's crazy to me. That's super crazy. I absolutely cannot tell you how awesome it is to be able to get super fast head shapes like this very effectively. I'm just gonna do one more pass with the, um, with the grade. You guys can hear it, right? There's audible feedback to it. And I actually, the first time I used this, guys, first head shave I used this. Show you guys. The first head shave I used this, I had um, the problem I overshaped. It didn't feel as close to me when I was rubbing it like this. And so I, I, I shaved, I, I actually just kept shaving. And then I found that when I toweled off, I had overshaved. And I'm going to unscrew mine just a little bit, just a titch. There we go. The facon really does amp up as I undo it. Personally, I really feel like this razor amps up as I undo it. And look, you see how fast I'm going like this, guys? I don't have to worry about a, a 
play in the back. That's that's how I'm doing that. I, that's how I'm doing it. I would not be so hazardous or like so careless if there was a blade in the back of that razor. Because there's not, I don't have to worry about ever catching my back of my hand or my ear. And I really like it. So today's goal, get a beautiful head shave for the beach. Oh, okay. I'm happy with it. I am extremely happy with it. Yeah, that is just an absolute beast, guys. It's a beast. I, I, I'm trying to show you guys. I just wanted to show you the underside of this cap. It's like absolutely jam-packed with a uh, stubble, with this thin, thin layer of stubble. Oh, it's great. I love the Fasan razor, guys. I love it. There's just nothing I would change about this razor. I think that the way that it sits on the skin is awesome. I think the way it fills on the skin is fantastic. And it's so easy to navigate my trouble areas on my head with this razor. There's good feedback to it. I just want to keep, I don't want to do the both sides with it because it just, it's kicking butt. I won't do both sides. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to cheat you guys, but it fills super, super ultra good. I mean, honestly. Oh, beautiful shave. And that is on the spot with my surgical scars, guys. So it does migrate. It does, it, you know, it's easy to maneuver. It, you're not fighting with it the whole time. Very nice shave. Very good shave. All right, we'll do this other side with the Monster Series. Again, this is the series that has been out for a long time. Um, a lot of dudes have done shaves with this razor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to open it up a little bit because I can just fill... But again, it does not feel as easy to me on the skin. The angle feels a little bit different. Kind of like you're having to coax the angle, almost. I, I, I don't know. It's a weird experience for me. Both are nice razors, guys. And that's, I, I did want to mention, I like both razors. I just maybe prefer the one over the other. Maybe just a titch. Just because I really think... that it's um, a little bit more natural to me. It feels a little more natural, maybe is the right word. These are both, um, these are both slants. And they both perform really well and they both have a cult following. I would say it's a cult following at this point. There's a lot of people that swear this is the razor to use on the head. Especially if you're learning. And it's very forgiving. And I like the fact that there's no um, weight to these. Like I said, the, the no weight's really nice. I'm gonna relather a little bit. The no weight makes it so that your shave is manageable. It's easier, um, especially in hard spots on the head. Just my opinion in the matter. All right, PA is not paying me. I am not on their roll. I'm just saying, this is from the heart here, guys. I really think that if you're a big fan, okay, say you're a big, huge fan of the One Razor of the Ghost, I think you like the Fasan. Um, if you're not a big fan of the Ghost, you may still like the Fasan Razor, honestly, just because it does feel so much different on the skin and the way it shaves is so much different than this razor, um, in my opinion. Again, no pressure or very light pressure. With this razor for a perfect shave and you may be noticing my knuckles are all jacked up in this shot right here um that was not done shaving ironically guys that was done trying to make my beautiful wife food i was trying to make her food i hate cooking i'm a terrible cook absolutely abysmal at cooking and I was trying to use the grater um, over the kitchen counter, and I gratered my knuckles. I slipped. Yes, I had had something to drink. I slipped, and I just got the back of my, or I got by the top of my hand, and cut my hand up pretty good with the grater, guys. It wasn't with a knife or anything. It was with a grater. All things to chop my hand on. Yeah, again, this is just missing some of the spots that the other Fasan razor 
felt like it was easier to hit. Now, I can get them with this razor. Absolutely. I thought today, I was like, you know, I want to have a good shave. Both of those will work. <laughs> Either one works. And guys, when we talk about the Subi shavers, right? The three, C, the, the three C's. The cost, the closeness, and the comfort, okay? The Subi three C's. Um, this razor, both razors are in the cost effective mark, right? They're both 30 bucks, which is absolutely a great deal. Um, they are extremely close shavers and they're very comfortable to use. I don't feel like they're uncomfortable at all and they don't leave my skin uncomfortable afterward. Um, they definitely, I would say could be, uh, recommended by me for people that are wanting to experience a slant, especially at a good price. Um, I think it's an absolutely awesome shave at the money value. Um, for the both razors. I think both razors are in a great place in the market for price. Let's see how we did here. Let's throw some water on the skin. Again, this is one of those situations where it's more of a preference during the shave than an experience after. And then it's really a long term like 10 hours later that i notice a difference like right now these feel extremely similar on my head very similar very very similar i probably yeah i honestly i, I can't tell a difference right now on the shaving surface they are both fantastic guys honestly they are a great shave you can see I have just no nicks, no blood, no problems. Um, again, this was with the double stacked side of things. Just trim up my uh, sideburns a little bit more. Yeah, really good shave. Ready for the town, ready for the beach. Happy, uh, happy Thursdays, everybody. Again, thanks for being here for this. I can say that they are both great razors. If you like one, you will definitely like the other. And if you don't like this one, you may still like the Fasan Light. Uh, great price. I don't know how long this is going to be offered for, and I don't know how long it'll stay in stock because these definitely have a, full, a following that, you know, his, his original ones were the Bakelite facade racers, right? He used to use this in Bakelite and it definitely had a cult following. So this is not, uh, this is the first time it's offered in ABS, but not the first time it's been offered in general from, uh, PA. Uh, guys, I hope that this has been informational. I really like this shave. Uh, I like the shave both of them gives me. I would definitely say either or works. I still think this side is more comfortable than this side. To me, this side on this side feels a little bit more comfortable as I'm applying that splash. I can feel just a little bit of burn on my left side that I don't have on my right side. And that could just be, you know, I accidentally put too much pressure on my off side. The album stick doesn't have any burn. So, I mean, Again, they're extremely even. I just, I, I don't know. I think the Fasan razor is a little better for me. I, it's just, it's preference. I think at this point, it's just preference. It could be in my mind. It could be because it's new and shiny. I don't know. I just think the shave's really nice and I like it. And I'm gonna apply the CK1 on top. Great experience, great experience, great shave. Again, this has been the PAA Slant Double Open Comb Monster Series versus the Fake Light Series, guys. And we did it. I hope you have awesome Thursdays. You guys rock. Thanks for being a Subi Shaves follower. And we'll be back. You guys rock. Have awesome days. 